everyone, Lux into Swirl here. New day, new project. Looky, looky, got the stickles out. Ah. Okay, so recently my favorite YouTuber, Anthony Crammon, did a video where he revisited the idea of doing a self-portrait and he used four different mediums suggested by four different viewers. One of them was a suggestion I gave him. Amazingly, he used it and it was resin and I thought it turned out fantastic. I don't think he thought so, but I thought it was fantastic. So after watching his video, I made a follow-up suggestion, which because he's a very kind person, he liked and he hearted and he probably won't do anything with because he's done his resin stuff now. I have decided to do my own self-portrait in resin. I am going to use stickles because that is my current favorite thing of all time. And I think, I think it could be kind of interesting. We are going to make a tray with my likeness in it. When I say likeness, I'm using that word extremely loosely because what I've already done is a preliminary sketch. This is a very abstract, cartoony version of how I used to look a long, long time ago. And I took a paint pen. I took a new top paint marker pen, water-based opaque black, and I I did my little cartoony abstract thing here just to get an idea of how this was going to go. Like I said, this was the way I looked a long, long, long time ago before gravity destroyed my beautiful swan neck and I cut all my hair off and, you know, life took over. <laughs> But we're gonna go with this. What I'm gonna do is I am going to draw on this with my stickles, let it dry completely, pour resin over it. What I really wanna do is pour black resin over it because I think that would be just stunning. You've seen stickles on black resin before in my videos. I will stick up a reminder here. Looks cool, right? So I wanna do that, however, <laughs> I am, I am not a beautiful Nubian. I am, I am a freckly Caucasian. So um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the, the background yet. I'm gonna think on that and go ahead with this part first. For the hair, I'm going to use a combination of copper and confetti, neither of which is an accurate rendition of my hair color even back then, but it's about as close as we're gonna get. And there's a lot of it going on here. So here we go. I do have heavy eyelids. This is sort of accurate, but stickified, so it doesn't look doesn't look very realistic. But you know, I did say abstract, right? And I have long eyelashes. Actually, I don't. I don't have any eyelashes at all. But we'll put some in because because there we go. And now, because I do actually have blue eyes, there we go. Oh, there's my eye, in a manner of speaking. So far, so good. Uh, I'll move down here to the shirt. Well, actually, let's see, I'm a lefty. I have to plan this out so I'm not smearing shit as I go, so to speak. Sorry, that was vulgar. So I'm not smearing stuff as I go. My cute little pink lips. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad. Does it look like me? No! <laughs> it's okay. I kind of like it. You know what? I'm going to give myself bluer eyes. My eyes aren't light blue. They're dark blue. So, I'll just... 
just add a little glue in here. Okay, I am gonna stop now. I'm gonna give this a, at least a couple days to dry. It should be completely dry to the touch. The, the thicker areas need extra time. And if it takes a few days, that's fine. It'll give me time to figure out what color I'm gonna use for the background, because I, I don't know. We'll see, <laughs> stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, this has completely dried. Even the thicker parts where I used two different stickles on top of each other. So next up, we pour some glitter resin in here. I am gonna start, I've decided, by doing the rim first, what will be the sides of the tray. And into that, uh, probably just two ounces of resin for that. As long as it covers all the way around, it will be the, it'll produce like a frame for the picture. So I'm going to use, this is Voodoo. It is a mini chunky mix, black holographic from Franz Glitter and more. So I will mix up a couple ounces of art resin, mix a crap ton of this into it, try and get it just, just in the rim of the mold. After that's set up, uh, I will pour the rest of it which will be with a white. I've decided to use Salt K, a white rainbow glitter from Franz Glitter and more. So I will do both and then we will do the big reveal and unmolding and whatnot and we'll see how it turned out.
We're back. Well, that was pretty terrifying, wasn't it? <laughs> God. I was a little sloppy. And you saw me having to struggle with cleaning that up. But I think I got everything pretty much. Sit back and enjoy the show. And we're back. Okay, it's time. It's time to see how I look in resin. I'm so excited. Ah. Okay, well the stickles came out, so let's see how I look. Ta-da! There she is, the Luxinda of 40 years ago. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Stickles for the win again. So what do you say, folks? Are you willing to try your own self-portrait in resin now? I think everybody should do this. I really do. I think it looks fantastic. I love it. I absolutely love it. The stickles are actually in the resin. I do not feel any texture change as I run my finger across. However, to be on the safe side, if I wanted to actually use this as a tray and drop, I don't know, my keys and change in here or something on my nightstand or whatever, I will add a completely clear, very thin cover layer to the bottom of the tray. You know, make it, make it complete coverage, let it cure up. That will protect the image. But oh my, isn't she lovely? <laughs> oh, and she sparkles. I always wanted to sparkle like this, you know? And now I do. Yay! Thanks, everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.